There we are. All right, hey. boys and girls. The game I'm reviewing this week is Onimusha 3. Um, so good. This game is awesome. Let me just get that out of the way. Um, if you've played any of the, or if you've never played any of the Onimusha games, um, the setting is, or for the first two anyway, is feudal Japan. Uh, you're, you know, just a samurai homie, and you've got demon powers and you're fighting against scary demons and uh like everyone tries to resurrect Obon or oda nobunaga who i'm not going to give a japanese history lesson on that right now but he was you know the first like unifier of japan and um so he's he's just kind of got legendary status so you actually see him appear in a lot of games especially japanese games um where uh, you know, he comes in as like the bad guy and it's usually like a resurrection situation. Um, but the, the, the games actually originally were supposed to be part of the resident evil series, but then they pivoted and, and made them their own. So the first two games you play with tank controls and mm -hmm. it being like an action game playing with tank controls is a little funky. Um, and so the first two games, uh, are, are pretty difficult to get into, but once once you get rolling, you know, it's very good. It's very fun. Um, the third one, however, makes a big change to the formula. Not only is it not exclusively in in uh, Feudal Japan, they, they introduce, like, a, a time travel element, um, which is really cool, and also a non-Japanese character, which is... John Renault, Renault. <laughs> the so freaking rad. professional himself, um, which is awesome. Uh, but you also get to play in like modern day France, um, which is very cool. This game came out in on February 26, 2004. So it is by no means a new game. Um, I played it on PC via emulation, but I do own the game. Um, I own the original the uh, original PlayStation 2 game. Um, so that's, that's how I played it. I, I just, I don't have a PS2 anymore, but I ripped my copy and, and played it legally with emulation because I own the game. I just want to be clear about that. Um, I bought it, uh, for, um, I bought it for, I want to say like 30 bucks for like, and it came brand new in a brand new, uh, case and everything with the wrapper, which was cool. But it's also apparently available on Windows, which I didn't know because I probably would have done that instead. <laughs> and it's also apparently thing, included but... with Game Pass, which I also didn't know. Yep. I have Game Pass. I could have played it for free. But if you want to pay for it, it's nineteen dollars uh, or nineteen ninety nine, so twenty bucks. Um, what I like about the game uh, is a lot of things. Uh, number one, it's an Onimusha game, which I'm just a huge fan. Um, but number two. They changed the formula, like I said before, from the tank controls to like a more modern, like analog stick action game control, which is it makes the combat so much nicer in the game. Mm -hmm. um, it's a huge improvement from the old ones. It's funny because when when this first came out, I, I bought it and I played a very little bit of it and wasn't really impressed at the time. Uh, Onimusha 2 was like my favorite game for a really long time and to me it didn't live up to that um, but having gone back now and, and replayed it I think I might actually like this one a little more than Onimusha 2 uh, wow. I think I think the gameplay is better the graphics are also better you know obviously better um, instead of you know I another thing that I was surprised by like replaying this a lot of games from this era um don't age very well and what kept onimusha one and two from aging um significantly was they used pre-rendered backgrounds instead of full mm -hmm. 3d backgrounds um onimusha three on the other hand does not use pre-rendered backgrounds everything's full 3d and surprisingly to myself i think the the 3d actually held up pretty well considering <laughs> yeah, how I old agree this with game you. is I haven't watched it, um, yeah it looks great it look now great. To be fair, I did upscale the resolution in the emulator from, you know, whatever the original res was to 1080p. Um, 
And I could have even done it up to 4K, but I don't have a monitor that can support that. So it wasn't a real big deal. Plus, you can't really stream in, in 4K. Um, yeah. I mean, you can, but it's not super practical. So I, I upscaled it to 1080p, and it just looked fantastic. Mm -hmm. It was really well. Um, so uh, that's, you know, things I liked about the game. What didn't I like about the game? Um, not much. Again, it... Um, some some aspects of it are a little dated, being that it's a PS2 game. But for the most part, I, I think the game held up really well. One irritating thing about it was the little kid. Um, oh. <laughs> Jean Renault's son in the game is so annoying. That was probably what stood out the most as something I didn't like about this game. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, super freaking annoying. Um, Do you have to, like, take them around i've never played any of these games um there's not like really escort. there might be like one escort mission um if i remember correctly and it's not too bad he's just he appears in a lot of cutscenes, and yep. he's just freaking annoying he's ah, just so annoying. rocks kind of just like, like super dumb NBC, so like super one of like some really terrible voice acting which the rest of the voice acting in the game is good but he's like like typical like cartoon kid like whoa, whoa, you know like oh uh, Ah, oh, it's awful. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, like some, so, you know, underpaid intern voice actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was annoying. But overall, I really, really enjoyed the game. Um, it definitely like had a bunch of good quality of life improvements from the previous games as well. One of those things which I don't know how anyone survived or even bothered using your bow in any of the previous games, but like you're in the previous games, you have to actually go into your menu and switch to your, your bow for like projectile weapons. Right. Yeah. In yeah. this, you can actually use, you know, key combinations on your controller and use your bow without having to switch, which is a big freaking deal. Um, yeah. and it, like, I, I know that seems like something that's stupid and simple, but like, that's one of those things that was like a huge quality of life improvement from the previous two games. Um, let's see. How's the gameplay? Was it fun? I've kind of already talked about that. Um, yes, it's very fun. It's very good. The art is fantastic. Like I said, the, the 3d rendering, uh, even though a departure from, you know, the traditional Onimusha games actually held up really well in, to modern times. So like, at the time, it had to have been gorgeous. Like I, I, I remember playing it back in the day and and being super impressed with with how good it looked, um, and for it to still look so good, um, I'm I'm you know it's it's very well down, done. Uh, yeah. Sound design, I would say, with the exception of Home Skillet's voice, <laughs> the little Henri, I think is his name. Henri, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it's good. Good voice acting. Uh, the one complaint I have about the voice acting, though, is this. Um, here, I'm going to skip forward in the gameplay, so I'm not just, like, sitting here. Um, when you're playing as Jean Reno through most of the game, when he's speaking in English, it's not Jean Reno's voice. It's yeah, some it's, other yeah. voice actor. When he speaks in yeah. French, it's it's Jean Reno's voice. Yep. But I think they, to cut costs didn't have him do his his voice lines in english which was a bummer yeah, of course. um music that's i mean the music's fine but like a lot of games that i play in this style uh i couldn't say like i couldn't hum a tune from the game for you you yeah. know um so it's it's somewhat unremarkable but i'm sure if i went back and really paid attention to the music i would i would probably enjoy it um and, and there's never a time where I'm like, this music doesn't fit what I'm doing. It's taking me out of the situation. You know, it's always yeah. appropriate for what you're doing. So I think they did a fine job with that as well. Um, how long did it take me? That I'm not sure. I would like, It guess... seems like it was quicker than Onimosha 1, but maybe not as quick as Onimosha 2. That's a possibility. That's, I honestly that's don't know. I would, I would say... Store, I would so say probably about 20 hours 20 that's not bad yeah yeah and that's that's a guess honestly i could be totally wrong um the stream that we're we're watching content from was five hours and 45 minutes um right and so if you like multiply that by you know four or well, something it was, so it was definitely 
yeah. at least two weeks, two two full days that I was at the store, mm -hmm. which is about five hours that you're streaming, mm -hmm. and w that's every other week. So yeah, at least and I twenty. I don't. Yeah, and I don't think I played it during the week at all. Maybe once right. or twice. Right. Uh, and and my weeknight streams are usually only like two and a half hours. So right. Um, yeah, so I'm saying around 20, maybe a little more is how long it took me. Um, and every, every moment of it's worth it, except for that annoying ass kid. Um, <laughs> the, the rest of the game is super good. Another thing I really like about the game is there's a, an abundance of end game content. There's yeah. really good new game plus content where you, if you like spend the time to like do all the little puzzles and, and, um, like demon realm things, during the game, you actually can unlock all of the weapons from the previous Onimusha games for New Game Plus, nice. which is really huh. cool. Um, there's a few other little mini games. There's there's one which lets you play through part of the story as one of the side characters, as this other oh. samurai. I forget his name, but like nice. you can play through a significant amount of the story with him, which is really cool. It's called like the tale of whatever the dude's name is. I forget what his name is. Um. So, like, it had a surprising amount of endgame content, especially for a game that came out in 2004. Um, yeah. It also had, like, a like a, like a a target, you know, practice game or, like, mini game and things like that. It's pretty cool. Um, would I play a sequel? Hell yeah, I'd play a sequel. And actually, there is one more Onimusha game that I've never played. So I might look into getting that. Um, I forget the, the subtitle to it. it. And it's not a numbered game it's not called right. onimusha 4 um but i hear it's really good so um I'll, I'll look into you know seeing if i can get my hands on that bad boy um but, and this is also something donna that i dreams? just yes donna dreams that's it yep uh um it's something that i i wish continued and i've said many times the neo games are like spiritual successors to onimusha i really do feel like they are um with obviously dark souls mixed in mm -hmm. uh but i I couldn't tell you what I'd pay for a, like an actual like modern Onimusha game, you know. I I can guarantee that if there was another Onimusha game and it had multiplayer, that would be one we'd cross over. And oh stream, hell and stream yeah! Together. That, that like, would be holy crap! That'd be cool. Yeah. Is there any rumors for a new one? Maybe in Not the future. Not really. So the one thing that gave me hope was a couple years ago they re-released Onimusha Warlords, which is the first yeah. one. Um, on okay. all the consoles. So I got it on Switch, and I actually did a playthrough on stream on the Switch um, when that came out. And I was hoping maybe it would stir some people's feelings and maybe stoke some, <laughs> some uh, you know, uh, interest in, in a resurrection of the series. But I don't know that I've heard anything since about it, which is unfortunate. But, you know, it, it's fine. These, these games, I feel like, are masterpieces in and of themselves. And so... <laughs> You know, preserving them how they are, I'm I'm okay with. Would I like a new one? Yes, but is it gonna break my heart if it never happens? I'll be okay. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'll manage. All will live. Yeah. So, uh, overall rating and impression. Um, you know, like if I gave my my past tense rating and impression, I probably would have given this like a seven at the most. Yep. Um. So but I didn't give it a chance, you know, like I really didn't give it a chance the first time I played it going back and playing again. I think this is my favorite of the series and wow. I would have to say, uh, you know, again, you kind of got to look at it through nostalgia colored glasses to a degree because it is an old game. It doesn't necessarily hold up as well as, um, you know, some things would, but I, I think considering what it is, it held up very well. So I'd have to say, Probably like a 9.35. Mm -hmm. You know, um, that's, that's it's, really it's still a really fantastic game. It's got really great puzzles in it. Um, it's got really fun gameplay. Uh, it's just, it's good. And it's got a great story. You know, it's not the most complex story. Basically but kill the resurrected bad guy. But yeah. like throwing in like the time travel and things like that is a fun twist. And, and it's just really enjoyable um, all the way through. Um, so do you have to play the first, second one to get the third one? Like to understand it? 
Not necessarily, no, but it certainly helps. You could definitely jump into any one of the games, especially one and two. One and two, I feel like don't necessarily need each other. Um, but three, I feel like does require a little bit of understanding from the original games. Actually, you could skip two, which I like. That's maybe blasphemy for me to say that. Um, <laughs> The this two has two has a different main character, right? Mm -hmm. Um, so instead of uh Samonosuke, you play as uh Jube. Um and he doesn't return in any of the other games, I don't think. So like right. there's not really necessarily any reason to play two if you're playing the games for the story. Um also if you ask me, two almost feels like a remake of one with a different character. And better Kill graphics. Syndrome. <laughs> um, so uh while I think it's a better game than two or or than than one, um, I think it's also probably the most unnecessary game in in the series. Um sure. which, you know, that again might be blasphemy to some people. And it, if you took me from three months ago and repeated what I just said to me, I'd punch you in the face. Because Onimusha, Onimusha 2 is always like my favorite game, you know? Yeah. Um, but uh but honestly, after going back and finishing it, I, I feel like I can confidently say that. So um yeah, it's great. And is it worth buying at the current price? Yeah. I mean you can get it very inexpensively and it's it's a fantastic game. If you have a PlayStation uh two, get it. Um, you know, it, it's very enjoyable. And we you probably can still find it, it on not on PC the way we thought it was. Okay, that's a bummer. So it's no longer on PC. If you had previously bought it, then it is. But it, yeah, yeah. So you know the options would be I'll play it on your PlayStation Two if you still got one, or do what I did and buy it and then emulate it. You know. Um. So, and it's it's worth it. It's good. It's fun. Yeah. So that wraps it up. That's my that's my review of Onimusha 3. And let me get yeah. back to our scene. <laughs> 